Eamon here from ASUS Campus Life here at CES 2013. I'm here with JJ from ASUS. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, boss. Thanks for having me here. Yeah, it's great to see you again. Um, we're taking a look at some really awesome ROG hardware. We've got the Raider and the Ares 2. What can you tell me about the Raider? I've been hearing it's a pretty exciting new uh, new component. Yeah, definitely. It's actually a brand new device for us. So it's an entirely new category. So people that are interested in storage, um, storage is a big effector of your experience. You know, it affects your boot time as far as getting into Windows, installing your games, launching your games, running your applications. So with it being a PCI Express device, it's going to be super fast. Kind of our little uh, trademark line that we're talking about right now is, is when SATA isn't fast enough. Uh, so and that's pretty much what it comes down to Raider. We're sadly not giving you all the nitty and gritty specifics that you might want to know as far as capacity or memory or specifics on performance, but we've been working on it for a long time, about 10 months. Uh, we've done a huge amount of testing to make sure that it works the way it's supposed to, uh, and that it works in a huge amount of boards, uh, and it's a fully bootable solution. So it's going to be coming to the market pretty soon, and it's going to be fast, it's going to be reliable, and it's going to work. All right, that's great to hear. I know uh, I'm probably not the only one who's impatient to uh, hear a little bit more about that, so I'll be, I'll be bugging you. Be yeah, ready for that. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna, more information is going to be coming soon, and uh, we're definitely going to let you guys know once we have that, and you can check out the channel, make sure to, uh, to see all the information, and even uh, the newer ID change. What you're seeing here is going to be pretty close to the final sample, uh, but there's going to be a little bit of tweak to even make it look cooler. Excellent. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about the uh, Ares 2? Yeah, uh, Ares 2 pretty much is the tagline is, you know, unlimited power and limited edition, because uh, that's what it comes down to. It's a thousand pieces uh, that we produce on a global scale. So that means even in North America, it's going to be less than that that's going to be available. But when you talk about performance, it's pretty much the best of the best. We got two 7970 gigahertz edition cards strapped into a two slot solution. So that's pretty cool because most people know that our highest end cards are normally a three slot. This is only two slots, and it uses a really cool cooling technology. So if you take a look at the card, um, the one looks beautiful, it's got this awesome backlight, but actually there is a dual fan implementation. We've got actually uh, an 80 millimeter fan here cooling the inside of the card, which keeps everything really cool uh, for the PCB and the VRM and all the power components. And then we've actually got a double wide closed loop water cooling solution, which cools the two GPUs. And thermal performance is crazy. Uh, when we talk about uh, the thermal numbers, it'd be great to be running a, a single card at 60C. We can actually keep both of these cards generally running at about 51 to about 55C. So it's going to be running really chilly um, at full reference gigahertz edition speed, so that's 1.1 one gigahertz, 6.6 .6 gigahertz on the memory, and you still even got some room for overclocking. Wow, that sounds uh, pretty amazingly powerful. What would you be uh, playing with that? What would you be using to take advantage of all that power? Well, in our demo here, we've actually got two monitors in an iFinity configuration, and that's really where a card like this is going to shine, is that definitely if you wanted to throw something like our PB monitors, 2560 by 1440, that's going to be awesome. But this is really going to be great for somebody that's interested in three-way, even uh, five-way or six-way iFinity, which the card supports. So you can imagine playing you know, BF3, Hitman Absolution, Far Cry 3 across six panels, you know, high resolution, all the image quality cranked up. It's an experience that you have to play to believe. All right. Well, you know, I'm going to be bugging you about that one, too. <laughs> All right. Thanks for, uh, thanks for showing us these, JJ. No problem, boss.